Apple's Mac Mini hasn't been updated since 2014, and that specific model only came with dual-core processors, unlike the quad-core options in 2012. Well, this year, quad-core processors come standard, and you can even get a six-core processor. In this video, I'll explain everything you need to know about Apple's 2018 Mac Mini. During Apple's October 30th event, they seem to be marketing the Mac Mini towards professional users, but what does the Mac Mini mean for the average user? Simply put, it's the cheapest way to get a Mac unless you're buying one used. Just use your own mouse, keyboard, and display, and you've got a machine running Mac OS. Not only that, but it's packing some serious performance. Let's get right into it, starting with the basics. You can now get it in a really clean space gray finish, and it's loaded with a variety of ports, including HDMI 2.0, two USB 3 ports, four Thunderbolt 3 ports, and even for an extra $100, you can get a 10 gigabit Ethernet port. Thankfully, Apple also kept the headphone jack. With the Thunderbolt 3 ports, you can transfer data at blazing fast speeds, connect an eGPU, or even run up to two 4K displays off this little guy. Just like the rest of Apple's recent Macs, the Mac Mini comes with Apple's T2 security chip, which takes care of a lot of stuff, including automatic storage encryption, and we explain everything you need to know about that in this video above. The new Mac Mini is packing SSDs with up to 3.4 GHz sequential read speed, and you can get up to 2 terabytes of storage if you want. It now comes with the same 8 gigs of RAM that came with the 2014 model, except it's now a lot faster. You can even get up to an insane 64 gigabytes of memory total, but it's incredibly expensive to do so when buying from Apple. Luckily, the 2018 Mac Mini actually has user-accessible SODIMM RAM sticks so you can swap it out yourself. So you can buy the base 8GB model and use the link in the description to buy a 32GB RAM kit, saving you over $300. It's also got a new cooling system that doubles the airflow, and along with 4 years of chip making improvements, the Mac Mini now runs at a maximum sustained power 70% higher than before. So thermal throttling shouldn't be as much of an issue anymore. However, performance has now gone through the roof. But before we get into that, let's talk about Squarespace. It's never been so easy to create your own website. There's a huge variety of templates to choose from, and it's so easy that I personally created this business site in no time. Just click to add basically anything from image galleries to buttons and e-commerce products, and then you can easily arrange them. So make it with Squarespace. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash appleinsider to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Compared to the previous Mac Mini, Apple claims that the 2018 Mac Mini has 60% faster integrated graphics and 5 times faster system performance overall. Those numbers are using the 3.2 GHz 6-core 12-thread i7 processor that turbo boosts up to a massive 4.6 GHz. And we've already ordered that model, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those thermal throttling test videos. For the base $799 price, you'll get the 3.6 GHz quad-core i3, which interestingly doesn't have turbo boost and doesn't have hyper-threading, but you can upgrade to that insane 6-core processor for just $300 more. The only issue with that is that the base Mac Mini comes with only 128 gigs of storage, so you'll have to pay an extra $200 on top of that for 256 gigs, which still isn't that much for some people. You do have the option of paying $300 right off the bat for the top-end model with a 6-core processor and 256 gigs of storage, but that 6-core processor is slower and it doesn't have hyper-threading either, so you'll have to pay an extra $200 on top of that for the best processor. But to be completely honest, almost everyone will be completely fine with the quad-core model, which gets pretty decent scores in Geekbench 4, nearing the performance of the 2017 5K IMAX based processor. Overall, the Mac Mini is the cheapest way to get a Mac, and this year, performance is up there with the rest of Apple's lineup, especially if you get the top-spec 6-core processor. You can order the Mac Mini today, and it'll hit store shelves on November 7th. We'll be getting our hands on ours very soon, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. 